Hello guys, how you doing amigos? Finally, finally with the video, with the video explaining you how it is going to be Battle of Africa 2. I mean, I'm going to explain absolutely everything. Everything will be below below the the video. I was I was even writing, you know, because I wanted to to explain you every single detail, super formal for me. I watched it myself and I said, disaster video, don't like it. Maybe you like more like this. And then I will go more spontaneous with, with my broken English doesn't matter at all what is important is that you understand the tournament overall three versus three tournament okay three versus three tournament they will have fixed positions team number one will be colors one three five all the time so three will be the pocket position you know will be in the middle with number one and five in the flank so team number two will be colors two four six and number four yellow you know it will be in the pocket this time well battle of africa has also a lot of unique maps a lot of unique maps let's jump into into the maps there you go with this beautiful music in the background we can see here in Aoison all the maps we start always with arabia almost every tournament is starting with arabia and then we have nine unique maps okay arabia beach fight Coliseum, Donut, and Not Socotra belong to Battle of Africa 1. All the others, Grand Barra, Desi Slope, you know, Canyon Lake, B, African Waters, they are new for this tournament, which is very amazing. For those who watch Battle of Africa, Donut has a difference. Now there's no shallows, it will be rogues. So, I mean, if you see here, yeah, it will be rogues, so you can't make dock anymore. It was a little bit weird. And we decide to change that. Once we have the maps, right, we can go and see how they will select them. For example, if it's a best of three, since the first uh, game is Arabia, it will be one home map per team. Best of five, two home maps. Best of seven, three home maps. Each team like this. But something important. This time, this time, the team who is losing will pick the home map. Yes, but they can pick either their own home map or the home map for the other team as well. Now, we are going to move in the civilization choice. This is, it will be a draft. You can see here, of course. And this is a real draft that happened this, this weekend because the pre-qualification stage already started. 9 May and today will be another, is when I'm doing this video. You can see how Fionor, part for Heresy V, they pick those civilizations. It was best of three, so nine civilizations. Best of 5 will be 15, and so on. Remember that also they will have to pick first, they pick the bands. Okay? I'm going in order. They pick the maps first, then the civilizations, because according to the, ma the maps they pick, they will have to pick the civilizations. Band civilizations, they cannot use Persians and Mongols, for example, here, and then all those civilizations, and they have to make the great combinations according to the maps they are going to be played. And they only can use those civilizations one and only one time remember now we're gonna check who are the teams that are participating in the tournament right and this is the 24 teams remember it was open for everyone but we have to put a limit because of time there's no time and no resources to 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 control all the teams that want to participate so we decide to put the best 24 teams in the pre-qualification state the top eight teams are not playing they are not playing, do you see? And they will play from 9 to 24. They will face 9 to 24, 10 to 23, and like this. Okay? You can see, of course, like all the top teams are participating with the Viper, with Hira, with the Ma the Max, the Mr. Yo, well, everyone. All right? That's like this. Then, this is all the teams that are participating. When they face each other, they will qualified and it's very important because those teams from 9 to 24 who is losing in the pre-qualification it's out of the tournament who is winning they will go to the qualification stage and they will face the top eight right when they face the top eight with the winner of the pre-qualification then we will go to the main and the goal league okay this is the main stage it will have well basically two groups of four teams you can see all the games will be played best of five and it will be three weeks for that reason you have 
one to a slot, one to a slot, because it's two games per week, okay? They play all versus all, and they are getting, well, points per win. Remember, well, goal league is the same, and best of five. You see, the links will be all below, below the video. Then, with these four teams, three will advance. Only the fourth will be gone, completely gone. The first, the winner of the of the team, it will go directly, directly not here. It will go directly here to the semi-final, okay? To the semi-final. Then the second and the third will fight to be here in the quarterfinals. And they will face with the second and the third, obviously, from the other group. The same for the goal league. I will let you see, take a look here. And the points, how the points will will uh, will take in consideration. For example, a win 3-0 and 3-1 will give to the team 3 points. If they are 2-2 with the score, they have 1 point each team. And the winner will get 2 points. So 3-2 points will be 2 points here, you know? And a 2-3 loss will be 1 point. Alright? Hopefully... It's clear and old, okay? Hopefully, it's clear and old. If the teams have the same number of points after the last group games, they, the plays will be decided by the direct results and total number of won and lost games, okay? Don't forget that all the games will matter a lot till we get uh, to, well, till the last second. You can probably qualify. Well, probably not. You can qualify the third. So, all the games matter. All the games matters. Okay, so uh, the semifinals, best of seven. The uh, grand final, if I find it here, it is. It will be best of nine. But I remind you, the goal league is exactly the same, but with a lower, much lower prize pool, right? And uh, you can see that all the time, goal league, best of five. And in the main state, best of seven. Okay. That's the only difference. Remember that all the games will be played on on weekends, and that's basically is. And hopefully, it's it is pretty pretty clear. And being say that, only only I can say while well, this beautiful transition is happening is that uh, Battle of Africa, it's gonna be amazing. This is the format. I will add all the links in order that appear in this video. You know, explain first. Well, put the maps. I will show you the draft, I will show you the group stage, the pre-qualifications, well, all the brackets, everything, man. Everything is it's in this video. Hopefully, it's easy to understand. If you have any questions, ask me in the video. I will answer as fast as possible. Other viewers probably will answer as well. And guys, hopefully, we are going to enjoy it together. And remember... This is important. I don't don't mention too much. I didn't know if to put in the video, but I think it's important. For example, I started a stream with around 800 subscribers on Twitch. So, with all the benefit I get till the end of the tournament, till the fi grand final, in mind that I get, hopefully, <laughs> 2,000 subscribers on Twitch. For each subscriber, I will add $1 to the prize pool. So, the difference between what I have now, 800 to 2,000, 1,000 200 subs, $1 will go to the prize pool. So it will be 20k we have now, 21,200. If I have the luck to get 5k, well, uh, I will put a lot to the prize pool, but it will be good for everyone. And remember that if the tournament is a success, King of the Desert 3 can be around the corner. Oh man, I listen King of the Desert and I get so excited. But I said, as I said, the most important is Battle of Africa 2. Hopefully, guys, you will enjoy like a lot. We love this damn game. Yes, stay tuned, guys.